and we're live from the Met Gala. <laughs> Just kidding. Nobody. <laughs> one take one. A mark. I'm like really offended. Nobody invited us to the Met Gala. You didn't ever think anyone was going to invite you to the Met Gala. That's not very nice. I feel like. <sighs> What separates me from Emma Chamberlain? You know, a lot of things. <laughs> no, good for fucking her. She looks stunning. Happy and healthy. <laughs> no, she really does look really good on the red carpet, and she's doing all the celebrity interviews. She's gonna become besties with all of them, and we're here. I'm so sorry, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Someone help me. This is very not Met Gala of us. This is what you get when you do two episodes in one day. You know what? After a bitch travels. Not only were we not invited to the Met Gala, we're going to review Met Gala fashion from Colorado, which is like so many degrees we're separated. Trash. We're like literal trash. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. <gasps> what? I forgot my purse. Chris. Is there anything in your super purse? I think it's just up next to Shane. Chris, no, but we need it's it. All of a sudden it's okay for you to ask Chris for shit when you when it's you. <laughs> Let me live. I really and came to show sunnies. out today. Oh my God, Chris! Chris! <laughs> I need the sunglasses. Chris, get his sunnies. Uh, yeah. Get the Valentinos. Get the valleys. Did you? Were the sunglasses up there? Oh, sunglasses. Yeah, go back. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Chris. Okay, so I am in a full-blown juicy couture, head to toe. They really just styled me tonight. Um, throwing it back to, I bought this myself, like a woman's juicy couture. But y and you won't give it to me. Well, oh, thank you, Chris. Yes. I really appreciate you lots. Don't talk to me. I'm so busy, everyone. Like. <laughs> Who is she? Like, you guys don't know me. You're not associated. No, we know you. No. We know him. This bitch was invited to the Met Gala. No, she was not. And she was busy. <laughs> she had other plans, like Kylie. <laughs> yeah, is that is Kylie there? Wasn't I don't she think Kylie's in there. New York for Fashion Week? And she dipped before the Met Gala? Probably. Also, by the way, just for my audience, mm. I... What? Cannot believe that the second we stopped recording last week, Kylie announced her fucking pregnancy. But I do have to say, being tagged in Kylie Jenner's fucking pregnancy announcement by you guys made my life worth living again. <laughs> Don't give her that. Because no, they gave it to me. Can I it's been the given. Show? Well, excuse me? Can I intro the show? You can, but Chris, you got to turn this around because I'm turning into Tana and just staring <laughs> at the viewfinder. She says it herself. <laughs> She knows what she does. <laughs> All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode <laughs> of The Sip. I'm Ryland Adams, of course, joined by... Elizabeth Homo. Okay. Hello, hello, everybody. We're so glad to have you. This is our slumber party edition. It's like... <laughs> this is... Well, d disclaimer, this is the second podcast we've recorded today. They don't care. I know, but I'm just letting them know why I'm off. <laughs> I think you're on. I don't know that that's what I'd call this. <laughs> I'd so, call this down and Lizzie, out. Lizzie, oh, we have a headphones a headset for you, Chris. Just... Chris brought his own headphones from home. Oh, okay. Whatever. He's Fine. also he also packed oatmeal in his suitcase. Okay, so here's the thing. Yes, you've been screaming about Kylie Jenner possibly being pregnant for a long time. Yes. And I just want to say, had she not been pregnant, just uh, imagine how you feel every week when the when the mermaids call you pregnant i'm not calling her pregnant based on her appearance though oh based on detective yeah work that you based on hard facts and evidence that i've put together and then deduced that she's pregnant not because she looks thicker <laughs> <laughs> so lizzie called it i found the announcement before lizzie and i said alert and i sent her a screenshot of it <laughs> and then lizzie like a fucking crazy person immediately started going through kylie jenner's instagram comments no bitch i was tagged someone tagged me i got a notification on my phone tagging me lizzie gordon saying you're right lizzie gordon from the valley right. saying multiple multiple people tagged me i had friends and family texting me <laughs> saying did you see this you've been tagged in this like i was like girl i know you're acting like you've won this is tantamount to when I was feet of the day on Wiki Feet, which was a Friday, which I believe was a March 19th. 
And I was feet of the day on wiki feet. So we're in our slumber party get ups. I actually got conned into buying this because Morgan had sold me on the idea of yeah. like us doing a cute photo shoot in front of our barns mm-hmm. with our matching suits. I don't think you should get black for that shoot. Though. And then, well, it was the only one available at the store we were at when we were shopping them. Got it. And so then Morgan just started wearing hers every day. And I was like, what happened to our photo shoot? And then I guess the photo shoot never happened. So here I am on the podcast wearing my juicy sweatsuit. I do like the flare that goes to it. Are you going to wear it again after this? Oh, Lizzie, I know you want. Are you going to wear it again? Answer this. <laughs> it's, after this. it's very comfortable. Answer the fucking question. Yes or no. I mean, I think so. It's sickening. You better send me pictures every fucking time you wear it. <laughs> you better post it on the Internet so my audience sees you wearing it Both. and enjoying it. Because I can think of another girl sitting right beside you who would fucking love that juicy couture sweatsuit. <laughs> we need She'd to fucking come. love to wear that juicy couture sweatsuit on your fucking couch, but it's in her own home. We are no longer monetized. I've been cussing a lot. You've been cussing a lot. Let's tone it down. I'm blacked out. Same. Okay, so a few things. We just blacked out on crumble cookies. Like I just had a matcha tea. <laughs> I'm having a sugary lemonade of my life. <laughs> okay, she is not well. So <laughs> we ordered dinner. We're eating dinner, and then Shane's like, oh, we should get crumble cookies because that was on your request list for coming to Colorado. It was. And so we door dash or post make. Are you finished? I'm done, Chris. <laughs> no! What am I supposed okay. to do with it? Chris. Thank you, Chris. <laughs> Thank you, Sorry Chris. for my monster of a co host. Mister, I need my sunnies after well, you get my different. purse. You could find a place to discard your lemonade. I needed the Valentino sunglasses. You better that wear the those the whole fucking episode left. for the trouble. Well, what about the lights? I don't want it reflecting and offending my audience. My mermaids. Mermaids, what do you think? I do think you need to clean those lenses. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was in the middle of the story. Go, 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 go. Whatever. You have lipstick on your teeth. I Where? Should, I should let you suffer and not tell you these things. Um, He's such a bitch. Is so, there still lipstick on my teeth, Chris? Don't tell her. Tell me. Chris, you fucking tell me. <laughs> I can't see it from here. No, you don't. I would be honest. And your lip color does look sickening with the PJ choice. Mm. Where are these PJs from? Uh, Victoria's Secret. Wow. Yes, thank you. You abandon our Valentine's Day episode pajamas. No, I wear those all the time. Okay. I'm not going to wear it twice on the podcast, though. Oh. What is with you? And I have standards of living, and I shan't wear <laughs> the same outfit twice on a podcast. Mm-mm-mm. I don't think they care. I don't think the people at home care. I think I care. So... <laughs> Shane was very nice. He ordered our house guests three boxes of crumble cookies. We had to try each and every flavor. <sighs> There's not 12 flavors. He got us multiples of a few. Right. So, and then the DoorDash was like, it's been delivered. They're doing like the contact free delivery. Yeah. And Shane and I are both like doing detective work outside trying to find the crumble cookie box. Yeah. You guys were gone. Am I boring you? No, I'm putting my phone on. Do not disturb because you're so enthralling. (laughs) I'm captivated by the story of what I just lived through. So we're outside. It's starting to rain. There's no cookies to be found. And I'm like, we've got to call the DoorDash. We call him. He's nowhere to be found. And he's like, oh, he's I left missing. It. I left to this it. day, no one's heard from him. Next to the house with the cat. And we're like, well, no, our cat's indoor cat. And he's like, well, I don't know. So he left it at the wrong house. So he left it at say. the wrong house. And I didn't want to go to my neighbor's house at 9 p.m. and say, like, knock, knock, knock. I think my door is. In your juicy couture <laughs> with your Louis Vuitton and your Valentino glasses. <laughs> Do you hey. guys want to play Met Gala together? Hey, kids, I think you might have me crumble cookies. So then we just, like, order a new dozen of crumble cookies Mm -hmm. and while those are being delivered we get a sweet knock at the door and it's the neighbors being like i think these came to our house and i was like well now we've ordered another one so you might as well just take them you might as well (laughs) you might as well just take them and so then our our delivery comes and Mm -hmm. it's one box we were there should have been three three boxes we got four of 12 i can do math yeah and a fucking bummer yeah, it's a bummer. And so then we call the store and we're like, oh, what a nightmare. Like, this is the one thing. Is my- this interesting? No. <laughs> so anyways, the whole thing, I was going on this to say, like, we th- we then ended up going to the store because when we called, the guy was like, oh, mm-hmm. we'll give you a free party pack. I get to the store. I'm like, oh, we're here for the free, free party pack. Like, Liam mm-hmm. sent us. And they're all looking at There's me There's like, no Liam at the store. <laughs> There's no Liam. They think I'm, like, conning them for free cookies. <laughs> Morgan, Chris, and Lizzie were like, we're going to exit the chat. We While were embarrassed happening because we, the just, man was asking yes or no questions. This crazy bitch is just going on and on telling him some story. It sounds like a lie. Yeah, it definitely sounded like a lie. <laughs> He's like literally like, so how many cookies did you want? And Rylan's like, well, we had originally ordered them. And Liam, who I guess doesn't exist here, is a man that I spoke to who maybe existed here. And he's just like. 12 cookies just tell the man you want 12 cookies. But as a person who was there and like lived through the entire saga. 
I'm not sure it's been worth 10 minutes. Well, you missed it. You <laughs> missed story. You missed it. What did I miss? We got home and Shane did say it was a different location. I knew it. And then I called them back <laughs> and I was like, I had to confess. And she like, oh was my like, God, so you she, did not have to call so them back. Like, and confess. Yes. So she was like, what, sh- what, why are, why are you telling me this? I was like, cause I want to like pay you with my credit card or something. And she's like, well, no, like you still needed them. So then like, I really just like put my foot in my mouth, still didn't oh. pay, made it more awkward, but we ate the cookies <laughs> and they were delicious. Like what's your review? They're chills. Lizzie fuck. walks in. She goes, so do you ship them all over the world? And they were like, no, we just have different locations. And people I don't go to understand how crumble cookies work, and I'm not embarrassed to admit it. Fine. I well, also like. I think I really like cookies in theory, or maybe I just really like watching the way that people eat cookies on the internet. But it's like at the end of the day, I don't think I give a fuck about a cookie. Chris, <gasps> what did you think about the cookies? I thought they're incredible, especially yeah. the blueberry. Oh, mm. I just so good. <laughs> I didn't give a fuck about those cookies. Oh, they're what? so good. Yeah, I know. I feel bad. You are. A I was the one who. I, I, fine. Fine. I literally want more right now. Well, go get them, Chris. <laughs> well, you know I'm what, doing a job. You know what I do love? Me. Liquid IV, who just so <laughs> happens to be a sponsor for today's show. I love Liquid IV. <laughs> Liquid IV hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone and is actually the equivalent of three bottles of water. One travel-friendly packet, you pour it in. All of a sudden, it is actually three bottles of water with so many good things for you. Um, so not only that, but they're packed with great delicious flavors like watermelon, strawberry, and lemon lime. You know they're delicious. I like the guava the best. Mm. <laughs> I live by Liquid IV because hydration is so important, and I like to jumpstart my day with a packet before I work out or jump into a busy work day. Not to mention, it has helped me on many occasions after having a night of like having one too many glasses of wine. Which for you might just be a full glass of wine. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> you can feel great about supporting Liquid IV uh, because they make you feel great, their product, but they're also on a give back mission. They've donated over 11 million sticks to people around the world. Uh, the company is also donating 4 million servings in response to COVID-19. Products are being donated to hospitals, first responders, food banks, veterans, and active military. So uh, Liquid IV contains five essential vitamins, more vitamin C than an orange, and as much potassium as a banana. It's much healthier than other sugary sports drinks, no artificial flavors or preservatives, and less sugar than an apple. Uh, Liquid IV is made with clean ingredients, non-GMO, vegan, and free of gluten, dairy, and soy. What? I know you're trying to pop off. I'm not. It's really good. I, you guys popped off the plane today and immediately we both, we downed, both downed a, couple. a Liquid IV. And what makes it so effective is their cellular transport technology, which is the optimal ratio of glucose, sodium, and potassium, which delivers water and nutrients into the bloodstream at a quicker rate. It's a perfect balance. It's science. It's not for me, but I know that it works. Like the science, like I don't know how science works, you know? Okay, so <laughs> I'm personally obsessed with watermelon, like I said, my favorite, but you have to try it for yourself. Grab your liquid IV in bulk nationwide or at Costco where you can get 25, uh, oh wait, I'm sorry, you guys. Grab your liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code SIP at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you get better hydration today using promo code SIP at liquidiv.com. Calm, beautiful. <sighs> I really do live for liquid IV. No, li- liquid IV definitely slaps. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, I was having impulse control issues during that entire <laughs> ad read because, like, in my heart of hearts and like in my mind and body and soul, it just felt like I should just come at you and just like give you a little tickle. Are you a ticklish boy? No. Are you a ticklish girl? No, but I will fight you back. So there were a couple of things that you had, you have raised an issue. Correct. With my entryway. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this fucking And guy. my crumble cookie story was boring. I know. This is just as boring. I didn't know where you were taking that crumble cookie story. The fact that you called back is mortifying. Like, I'm never going to the park so with crumble cookie again. Oh, my God. Great. Um, now she's doxing me. Anyway. Telling people which crumble you cookie you go to. You told everybody which crumble cookie you go to. Okay. Um, no, I did. That was a crumble cookie dox. And for that, I apologize. But I just want to tickle you. You need no juicy shoes. You wouldn't even let me smell your armpits. Why would I let you smell my armpits? Sounds fun. Okay. You can smell it. No, I don't want to anymore. Jesus. <laughs> when it's offered, it's like... Uh, Anyways, this weirdo bought a piano and keeps it in his fucking entryway. And I don't know about you guys, but I feel like if you have a piano, it should be in like a you know a communal setting like it should be in your fucking living room so like at christmas time 
someone can come down and play and everyone scream singing Sweet Caroline. But it's like, who the fuck keeps a piano in their entryway? I think if you had issue at all, the issue should stem from us buying a piano when neither of us know how to play the piano. Yeah, that's also weird as fuck, dude. Are you going to take lessons? Did it, you just throw up? <laughs> <laughs> I just binged crumble cookies. Like, right. Like you, you wouldn't probably believe. Feel sick. Yeah. Oh. You didn't eat. You what? I had a couple of crumbles of the crumble She's cookie. so much better than me. No, I don't feel well either, but it's because I just chugged multiple sweet no, beverages we had envisioned a piano for the entryway because Why the, the entryway? entryway is pretty beautiful and we're making over the entryway to where there will be seating and so that you can go in and so my, you're gonna be like hey guys i've got two beautiful <laughs> living rooms but let's hang out by the front door <laughs> yes i think it's a nice yes! welcome into the house and we did and we'll have a man sitting there playing the piano upon entry my brother's wife does know how to play the piano she Stacey. was over the other day well she should be here right now every time i come in and out that door. I want to hear Stacy hitting those keys. Everyone popped into that room. We sat down. My grandma listened to Stacy play the piano. We all had a grand time. So I don't know what you meant about the entryway. I'm just saying, I think people would have been a lot more happy if they could like sit on a nice no, couch. It's like a nice, like, oh, welcome to the house. Okay. And I am going to learn piano. I love that for you. So eat that. I'll eat it right up. <laughs> <laughs> what? Now do you want to talk about your ass rash? Oh. This fucking guy. <laughs> This fucking guy. <laughs> what if this is when I walk and I just like leave? Like I'm just like out in Colorado and then I call you and I'm like, will you pay for my hotel? <laughs> will you please put me up in a hotel because I'm done here. I quit and I demand. I quit and I'm taking your fucking sweatsuit, you pig. Maybe you should go to the local hotels and review them. <gasps> should we do that? I mean, we could do podcasts from the hotels. Okay. Okay. I'm happy to vlog with you there too. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying it doesn't have to be a potty. Uh, okay, so what about potty. what's going on with your body? I get really itchy all the time. And then I scratch so hard I get little bruises. Well, that's what your ass rash is composed yeah, of. So I have one right here uh, too. We can't hear you. I have one right here too on the outskirts of my thighs. And that's because you itch? Yeah. Like you I scratch so hard itch? that I get tiny bruises on my body. What are you itching? S itches. <laughs> I'm scratching itches. <laughs> what are they composed of? Do you, have you ever been itchy? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, I don't know. It's a sensation. Like I'm itchy right now and well, there's nothing tickling. You know, it's just I'm an itchy bitch. Okay, I'm itchy. Why do you think I'm so fucking irritable all the time? Because I'm always itchy. Because I'm pale and I'm allergic to everything. I can't use scented lotions. It's hard for me to even wear perfume. In fact, this blanket smells super perfumed. Well, I just washed it because Do honey wash threw it with up perfume? grass on it. No. Well, it smells beautiful. Laundry detergent. Your laundry detergent smells as good as Morgan. Uh, maybe Morgan was wrapped up in that. Because Morgan smells so good. Okay. A few other things we wanted to hit on before we get to our highly anticipated Met Gala fashion review. <laughs> That's yeah, fucking fashion icon. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm I like, have... I got this at Target. I got that at Target. I have vintage. This is from Abercrombie Kids. This is from The Gap. Okay. So you're, okay, two things. Yeah. Cat phobia and uh, your obsession with Harry Styles. Okay. Does it say obsession on the Harry Styles note? It says, maybe I am obsessed with Harry Styles. <laughs> So yes, it was a simple yes or no question. Uh, yeah, I mean, I watched him on Howard Stern and the guy I, has talent. He is a cutie patootie and I did not know it. And he rocks that clothing like very well. Like it's for me, it's his energy and his essence. And honestly, like I don't think I gave a flying fuck about One Direction. I think that was after my time because I'm, I'm as old as dust and... I've been seeing him on 37's TikTok. 37 is pretty old. I'm not 37, <laughs> you fucking bitch. <laughs> I'm not 30. You move your leg out of my space. I like the flare of these. Yeah, I'm not wouldn't. standing so you can't see them. He's got flare sweatpants on from Juicy Couture. Mm, yes, I do. Anyways, Harry Styles. What about him? There's a TikTok link, but I can't click on it. Well, there's a multitude of TikTok links because he's a cutie patootie. So you just fell down like... Hex well, there's styles just, there's talk. just, yeah, I'm on Styles Talk now. <laughs> and there's a fan who's in the audience and she's holding us. I can't, I'm caffeinated up the ass, bro. I'm going to dingle my tingles. Lizzie said, if we do a night episode and I chug my green tea latte, do you promise to stay up with me as long as I'm caffeinated? <laughs> he was like, yeah. Literally, his eyes rolled in the back of his head and he went, yeah. Like, no, you're not. You fucking liar. Lying to my but face. But we are going to watch that documentary. We are going to watch the Lulu Lab. As soon as we hang up on you guys, our other besties, we're going to turn on <laughs> the TV. Let me finish the Harry Styles thing because oh, he's so talking. funny. 
I'm just kidding. I know. This okay. I so, know bestie. <laughs> I do. Call me bestie one it's more time. It's my bestie bitch. for me. <laughs> bestie one more time, and I'm gonna fucking lose my shit, bitch. Harry Styles is fan is holding a sign that says "Punch me in the face." He looks down at the sign and he goes, "No." <laughs> it's like I love that. <laughs> Him and the Wild are still going strong, right? Yeah, I think they are. She's Do you think they went to the Met Gala? Maybe. Oh, my God. Did I wipe I all my makeup so. off on this microphone? Can you see my zit? Chris, can you see my zit? Fix it in post, Chris. Anyways, then there was a... Can I crack your toes? Yeah, I hope oh, he went then to there the was Met Gala. A, wow, your toes are super flexible. I should not be able to bend your pinky toe back that far. I do go to yoga. If he isn't at the Met Gala, I'm going to be very upset. Then there was another instance also on at Harry Styles TikTok where a fan was in the front row and he goes... You were here. You were at the last tour, right? And she goes, yeah, he's literally on stage in front of the entire arena. And he's like on the microphone, like you, you girl in the crowd, you were at the last show, right? And she's like, yeah. like, I assume, like, I don't know. Nobody can see her or hear her because she's just like one in a million in this auditorium. And he I goes, mean, of course, she's going to say yes. Right. And he goes, you cut your hair. She went, yeah, I got a haircut. He's like, looks good. What's crazy? She probably didn't do any of those. Like, she probably didn't get a haircut. She probably wasn't you think at the he's last just show. Saying that? And she's just but like, God love him for that kind of interaction and engagement. It's yeah. like me looking at the comment section right now, like, "Hey, beautiful." I'm just trying to find out. Did if you get some sleep gala. last night? I do love. <laughs> Looks his... like you slept at least a minute last night. Did you do that? Look at this handsome boy and whatever this is. This was last year's Matt Gala. Yeah, yeah. Do I we... don't know if I like him in photographs. I like him. In, I like him in the uh, person. Do you know what the theme of the Met Gala was for this year? No, and I meant to Google that while I was pooping earlier, but I was so distraught that I don't have a squatty potty seat in my bathroom, which was a previous writer on my <laughs> fucking contract, and I only agreed to come back to Colorado if I were to have a squatty potty. And here I am shitting. And like a I ordered a bunch of them. And every we we'll go over it next week too. I just can't figure out what the theme is for the Met Gala. I just can't is, figure out where the fuck my squatty potty is. If you ordered one for my bathroom, so Emma Chamberlain was hosting for the YouTube channel. And what do you think the theme was? Oh, in America, a lexicon of fashion. So that's the theme. I feel like it doesn't matter what the theme is because like a the, lot of the outfits that I saw earlier, even though you told me not to look yet. <laughs> you were looking? <laughs> I was looking. <laughs> oh, should we hold people on the edge of their seat with the Met Gala to talk about your cat phobia or is it nothing interesting? Oh, uh, I mean, it's not that interesting. Just though. my cat being cute as fuck, like so sweet, like jumping up on the table, I feel kissing like, Lizzie on the face. Yeah, but and like, she looked like she was going to no, kill it. And I was no. like, Lizzie? I was afraid. And she said, <sighs> and I said, what's wrong with you? And <laughs> the she, way oh. that you are as me <laughs> is so off base. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's not interesting. No, it's not. You're just scared of cats, but I was trying to find the origin of your cat scared. I've already talked about it on the pod. Okay, sorry, I don't listen. Well, no, my dad told me when I was a very little girl, my dad said, while you're sleeping, be careful because cats will suck your soul out of your mouth. And have they? Probably, look at me. All right, <laughs> back to the Met. Yeah. I've gotten sent some photos. Show me. Show me, show me, show me how you, you do, do that, that trick. The one that, that makes, makes me scream, scream she said. said. If I don't know these, oh my gosh, is that Billie Eilish? Billy Eilish serving old Hollywood realness. I can okay. I see the American. Thing I can here. appreciate that she. That is very. I feel out of her comfort zone. You know zone. what? She looks like a cupcake. She looks like a cupcake. She might even look like a crumble cookie. Very. Oh, I'm gonna have to send these to you, Chris. Oh, Chris. Because I don't think like her comfort zone is that of a dress. So I think like going out there, well, she's not, she doesn't, I think she's very vocal about like the specific style of clothing she wears. Yeah. And so I really like that she like pushed herself to try something different. And it's like a big, beautiful dress with a huge. She looks like a cupcake. Okay. That's all you have to say. <laughs> I shop at Target. What do you want from me? <laughs> Yeah. Shop and target sales. Okay. Section. <laughs> Next, we have Timothy Chalamet. Uh, and let me just say, he pushes wrong buttons for me. I re <laughs> one of his looks was so sickening that I tried to recreate it for. That's right. My, that was your wedding outfit. My wedding look because I just. Oh, I couldn't have loved it anymore. It was a Louis Vuitton sparkly vest, all black tuxedo. Like, mm, yeah, but it was delicious. like a holster vest. So now Timothy Chalamet and Sean Mendes are both doing this like Aladdin esque thing that I like. Can't, like, once you see it, you'll know. Like, the pants, they're like. I wouldn't call this Aladdin. This reminds me of like Hammer Time. 
<laughs> I, I can't touch this. Also, I, is he maybe dressed like a priest a little bit? But him and Sean Mendes keep doing this. Like Sean Mendes did it at the VMAs. Like Sean's was even worse at the VMAs. With like the joggers? Yeah, they're like jogger dress pants, but they're like, they're just not for me. And I understand it might be high fashion. He looks totally like a trend. hammer time priest. Let me see. You know what I'm talking about? I do like that he's. I don't think he knows what I'm talking about. No, do you know, I Chris? don't. I that can't touch this. I'm gonna pull up yeah, a video. Yeah. Here, here's what I will say. I really like the cropped jacket, yeah. and I like that he's mixing the dress pants with the high socks and the Converse. So, like, there's elements of this I really, really like. I just hate the Aladdin esque. Is there enough room right here for an asset? I think so. All right, so we'll put him up there. Um, so what do you think? Like, I'm gonna give him a seven and a half out oh, of ten. Oh, we're giving numbers. For, right we now, didn't give Billy a number. Uh, I don't want to give him numbers. It's too much for me. Too much pressure? It's like I don't get numbers. So look at the Hammer Time video guy. Don't worry, I muted okay. it. I muted it, Psycho. G gasping. I'm not grabbing trying my... to look at an ad. I know, me neither, but there's no skip option. Oh! <laughs> wow. Let me see. So we've got Troy Savon in like a slinky LBD. Little black dress? Well, it's like a long black dress. Oh, that's a boy. Troy Savon. Um. Let's focus <laughs> on the task. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. They're hammer time pants. Okay. So they're bringing that back. Shawn yeah. Mendes. This is not Aladdin. This is American. <laughs> well, okay. This For is a this is an old like early '90s American. Okay. I'm whatever the origins of it is. I it's not for me. I don't, no, and he looked like I hammer time priest. Like the jogger element. Sound off in the comments below if he looks like a hammer time priest. This is interesting because I didn't love Troy Sivan. Who the fuck is this? Troy Sivan. He was a YouTuber. Now he's a pop star. Like has a lot of popular songs. Do you know one of them, Chris? Chris is like I don't know who the fuck Troy Sivan no, is either. I know who Troy Sivan is. He was also in a movie called The Boy Erased or Erased or oh, something like yes. that. And he did pretty. I think he was really good in it. But um, shoot, he's great. I can't. So I'm here's drawing the a thing. I didn't like his outfit at the VMAs. Like it. I'm not trying to be a hater. It just wasn't for me. Mm -hmm. But like, I actually like kind of like this because like I feel like it works with his body type. Mm -hmm. So I'm not mad about it. I don't know if I like the big chunky shoes, but maybe it needed something to like. It's offset. a vibe. It's like it says like junky heroin. Oh. Like I mean, literally, he's got a fucking belt around his oh. arm, like, oh. and he's you know, it's junky vibes. Next, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> he's okay. like tying off a of vein. Like I, I don't like know the what shoes more. Me. Wow, I, I'm like oddly into it for some reason. You're into heroin chic. <laughs> oh, something I can't get behind. Why? So Dan Levy. Yeah. He's wearing like. I don't get that and I don't get Shit's Creek. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I know we've talked about it at length. Okay. So I'm sorry. I, it's not that I don't think he's talented. It's not that I don't appreciate the boldness of it all. This says. I just hate it. This says uh, allergic reaction and snowboarder. Snowboarder with an allergic reaction. Like you're like, I appreciate it, but I hate it. Well, did you see it, Chris? No. It says allergic reaction snowboarder. Tell me oh. I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. There's a lot happening. Like, Tell me to my fucking face if I'm wrong, Chris. I don't think so. I'm Am I right? You're right. Thank you. I love the boots. I would. Wow. Okay. I love the boots. Do you really? Yeah. Just not like that. I would wear them every day. I'm just saying, like as a fashion statement, I like the boots. Oh, you know what? I'll say yeah. I'll, I'll get. I'll get down with that. I like the boots. And like he's representing the world with the map. I kind of hate his face. <laughs> That's something the person can't change. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about his. I like his normal face. Like the facial expression. I'm talking expression. about the face in the picture. You know how much pressure there is to like pose with that many photographers. Absolutely, I know. I'm constantly on fancy carpets like this. Okay, Phineas, Billie Eilish's brother. Uh, I've seen him do things that impress me much more. To me, it's just not a standout. Like I don't. It's, oh, I kind of like this. It's not for me. It's, it's not doing much for me. Do you know what this looks like? What? This looks like that. Chris, <gasps> Chris you didn't even tell us we we're running out of time. Oh, I'm so sorry. He's I got so, you were showing me photos. He's and so I was into so Wait, episode. how much time do we have? Can I just say what this we looks like? We have a minute. To me? One minute. But we could just okay, go. if you guys watch Futurama, the crustacean doctor, Zoidberg, that's what Phineas looks like. Let me see. We can just pick right back up. Oh, no, yeah. we will. I'm just saying we'll have to break down. Sorry. Uh, it's just not for me. I've seen. He him, looks like Zoidberg. There's a lot of things that I've seen him wear that I'm like, oh wow, I really like that. And I feel like this one just like loses shape on him. Like it's it's just a little too big. You see it, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I've been watching his girlfriend's YouTube channel, Claudia Salewski. I think we're cut right now.
Are we cut, Chris? Almost. No, we're about to cut right uh, now. Today's episode is sponsored by DoorDash, <gasps> which I love so very much. He does. Picture this. You've got back-to-back -back meetings, errands to run, and chores to take care of. What's the secret to clearing your to-do list? A little help from DoorDash. You can get dinner, household essentials, and everything on your grocery list delivered. I I mean, everyone knows this. No, I we know you're a DoorDash. DoorDash like I, yeah. I DoorDash almost literally everything because you can get what you want to eat to do anything literally right anything now, whenever you want it if you need a pencil and a notepad you can door dash it yeah so along with the restaurants you love you can now get groceries and other essential items uh, delivered with door dash snacks drinks and other household items in under an hour like we were saying if you're craving late night ice cream if you forgot that key ingredient to dinner or maybe you just need to stock up for the week with door dash you can get everything in one app with over 300 000 partners you can support your neighborhood go-to's or choose from your favorite national restaurants like pop Buys, Chipotle or even the Cheesecake Factory. Ordering is so simple and your items will be left safely outside your door. For a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code SIP. That's 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code SIP. Don't forget that's 25% off your first order with DoorDash subject subject to change terms apply. Thank you, DoorDash. We love you so much. Okay, I'm a Chamberlain. All Louis Vuitton. I'm gonna say it. I kind of love it. And yeah, she she looks great. I don't like the top the green eyeshadow wasn't my favorite choice. Yeah, it's Arya Stark. But that's like being like so picky because she looks Wait, what did you just phenomenal. say? I don't like the green on the top of Oh, I do. I think this whole thing I, is a gorgeous, stunning vibe, and it really works for me. I don't know that it necessarily scream. You know, there's something kind of mod to it. I really like it. I'm like pulling it back. I love it. I think I like the green. I think you're dumb. She's on it. No, I don't hate it. Okay, you're right. I think right. you're a dummy. It, mm, I don't know. I love the hair. I love the earrings. I love the rest of the makeup, and I love the dress. Like I love the Louis Vuitton get up. Yeah, I would. I if I could be her age again and get married again, it would be in that. <laughs> and the hills are like simple and perfect. I'm gonna get like. You're back to your numbers. Yeah, ten out of ten. I'm gonna yeah, give it to her. I'll give it a ten out of ten because like, it's an easy choice. I, yeah, it's really good. It's really good. It's really good. Emma, you have outdone yourself, my dear. Yeah. And here's the thing. I'm going to say Vuitton something really nasty. did that. What? A lot of people are always like, Emma's a fashion icon. Like, Emma, do your summer wardrobe shit. And I'm always like, she's wearing jeans and a fucking t-shirt. She and makes And she it look says good. it too. This looks great, though. Well, she she does. Whoever like, styled Emma Chamberlain for the Louis Met Vuitton. Gala? Louis Vuitton oh. styles her everywhere. They take her to all the fashion shows. Right, but like she whoever, goes to Paris with Louis like, Vuitton. But like, it's not Louis himself is not doing it. He do might. You? I don't know. I don't know that. Are, that's... are the people listening going to be confused? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who's listening? <laughs> Chris, this is just us. Oh, sorry. Sorry, and my dad. He keeps muting himself. Oh, because. Okay. Shut up, Chris. You're going to mute yourself, and then you're going to talk. It's because I, I laugh and then I interrupt. I don't know. And I sniffle sometimes. You so. deserve the space which you occupy. Ava Chen. I'm not sure who this is. Very bold. Very different. Mm -hmm. She looks like little kid bed sheets. Oh, my God. <laughs> Lizzie's refused. The Zoidberg little kid's bed sheets. She's not wrong. I'm not. Like the race car bed sheets. Like... <laughs> But like very American, she's every American it. child had those fucking Hot mm -hmm. Wheels bed sheets. Hundred percent. Love her earrings. I like the hair choice. I'm not. I'm not mad at it. Not for me. I don't do high fashion. Okay, we've got Olivia Rodrigo. Have you seen this? Yes. You've already seen it. Yeah, but I was pooping. So what do I know? <laughs> Show me again. I kind of live for it. Show me. I live for it. <laughs> <laughs> I, is that blue thing part of her dress I, or is that someone behind her? That's someone, someone behind, behind her. her. That's like I, Pita. I would have bedazzled the... I like it. The tutu area. I like it with her chandelier earrings. I, I like it. I would have bedazzled the, the like the undie area. But that's just me. But you're too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I like it. And also, Does people were kind of like saying in? nasty shit about her look at the VMAs like she didn't do enough. I thought she looked good at the VMAs. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't think she didn't look good. Like, for being, like, the girl of the year, like, she is... Is she it, the girl she, of the year? Yes. Yeah, okay. Like, nobody's had so a the boy who was year. like, I think she's a one-hit wonder. <laughs> well, I didn't get it at first. I didn't... I, I'm not on TikTok. Yeah. I wasn't around for its, like, surge. Right. And then I got it. And I like... I really like her. Uh, and I like her music. Let's have her on the pod. She's way too busy and do, not I don't know. Interested. I think she would make time for the set. So what's with Kim Kardashian? I, she's going through a silly goofy phase like what is this with her like covering it says wwe i'm gonna rob a bank <laughs> it says as morgan morgan is it wwe is that what it's called it's well, wwf well, it, what it's e now oh thank god so you know i've got my finger on that. wow are all the audio people so upset that we're reviewing met gala fashion and they can't see it probably but again like it's my dad listening and who else <laughs> so kim kardashian keeps doing this thing where she's covering her face and i feel like this is the worst version of this so far do you know what morgan said about this look what that she looks like a sleep paralysis demon and I don't think Morgan's wrong. I think <laughs> Morgan hit that nail on the fucking head. But I also think this shit is sick. I think there's something super cool to be said about a woman who can show up with her entire face fucking hidden and everyone knows it's her. Like, that's a Ooh. fucking serve icon in the title. Hell yeah, that's icon living. Oh my God. Do you know how I would get... I'm like, oof, I'm such a megalomaniac. I'm like, God, someone put a hood on my head and let me get recognized in public right now. <laughs> I just like her last year's look better. What was last year? The dripping wet thing? I think so, yeah. Or was that two years ago? I don't know. The thing that's weird is that, like, I read an article today that Chloe is, like, banned from it. Like, it, it, uh, allegedly, Anna what did Wintour Chloe do? said she's too C-list for the Met <gasps> Gala. Shut the fuck up. When uh, did when did it, Wintour say that? This is... I, it's not on the record. It's like one. Well, then why do you know it? Because I read an article. I mean, <laughs> so I'm it not, sounds like it's on the record. I mean, I guess so. I don't know Wait, their can source. Can you Google that for a second? But they said she's too C list. <gasps> no, I think Chloe I, and her sisters still attend. No loyalty, and I thought they were a tight pack. Well, no, uh, Chloe, in spite of everything, still always shows support for her sisters' looks. Because remember, like Kendall and Kylie. Oh my gosh, I wonder if Vogue's gonna do those videos where they like get ready with them. Like, do you remember? Did you watch those last year? No. Yes, I did. Yeah, like... Khloe Kardashian banned from the Met Gala for being too C-list 18 hours ago. I told you, I read it. Bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking God. Khloe is way less C-list than some of the people on this carpet. Khloe, you fucking live, bitch. She's you fucking A-list have, in my book. You roll around in all that money, honey, and you fucking tell Anna Wintour that she's a crusty crustacean. Oh my God! If she's gonna call some, if she's gonna, Anna Winters we gonna don't walk know around. That. This is putting what people article, on fucking what article put bottom this? shelves. Hey, what article put this out there? I don't know. I can barely see straight right now. I don't now. think it's tr trustworthy. Like the sun. <laughs> okay, <laughs> a reputable <laughs> must be what real. Chris. What I was just gonna say, Chloe's really nice too. How do you know? Because she came into Kalani's job a couple of times oh. and she's really sweet. And and we were did a, oh, I don't know if I can say it. we did a thing for her kid like at a party. Oh, okay. Cara Delevingne. I'm not a fan. <laughs> That's not what we're talking about. Um, Peg the patriarchy is yeah. what it says. Yeah. I like the fit. Like, I like the pantsuit. Like, fits her really well. I like the wet hair to the side and the makeup. I meant I wasn't a fan of her fit. I saw that while I was pooping, oh, too. I thought you said you weren't a fan of... I thought you just were like, <laughs> don't like her. Pass. No, I mean, like, it's a strong look. And she looks badass. I will say that. Um, I mean, it's cool. Yeah. It's cool. She looks like she's wearing armor. Let's speed through. Oh, my gosh. Like Sean a vest. Mendes. Like a... Ugh, Sean. Sean. <laughs> Please. Sean. Sean. Is he wearing a bolo tie and no shirt? No, but... No, he, but he's got a necklace on. He has the same pant leg line as me right now. Well, he's got a boot cut. You have a flare. What's the difference? There's a I fucking difference. <laughs> I mean, he's got abs. He's got abs. That's not the fit. We're talking about fits. Well, the fit is his abs because that's like what he's doing. <laughs> he's like, e even in this picture, he's like, look at my abs. Look at my abs. Which like if I spent he's that much. He's kind of like Western boy. If I spent that much time in the gym, I would want you all to look at my abs too. <laughs> he's a pretty man. Very pretty man. I like his boots. Wish I had as good as hair as him. Honestly, I like his fit. What is around his neck though? Is that a jump rope? <sighs> Is he going to go do some Probably more expensive than like both of our net worths combined. Whatever's well, on For sure neck. more than my net worth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Camila Cabello. Mm. <laughs> Who is it? 
I love her, but I don't. I mean, it's it's not bad. The purple I, number? I feel like it goes with her current era. This feels like it was for the tacky Met Gala theme. Yikes. It does. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me about faking, faking feet. I like Camila Cabello. What do you think, Chris? Am I wrong? Unmute yourself. Let the people know. <laughs> wow. Wow. Am I wrong? Does she look tacky? Yes or no, Chris? Chris? I don't know anything about fashion. Okay. Go back on me. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank I you for love playing. Zoe Kravitz's look. Oh, I don't. I love it. it. This I don't like any of these looks, to be quite frank. <laughs> no, that's not true. I feel like I like some of them. I love it. It's just like dripping in diamonds is what I would call it. Let me see. Like, wow. I just love it because I love bling. Like, I just. I feel like we've seen this. Like, didn't Megan Fox wear this dress last night? Yeah. <laughs> But Met Gala is all like sort of artistic, crazy, like statement pieces. Right? Yeah, yeah, and it feels like nothing I've seen is super crazy except for, you know, Kim showing up in full BDSM, you know, dominatrix. <laughs> okay, Kristen Stewart, I'm kind of living for, for her. Yeah. 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 It's like an elegant suit. With I could like also nice easily, blazer. I could easily see Harry Styles in this. Yeah, you're right. It's cute. Do you think people are bored of our Met Gala fashion review? I'm almost bored of it, but I feel like we could keep going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, wow. What? Wow. Show me. Emily Blunt serving fairy godmother realness. This, I really like this because it's like the elegant version of like, uh, I don't want to diss anyone else. Glinda the Good Witch? It's just gorgeous. Yeah, I see. I've, I've, oh. I've, I'm sorry, my legs are cramping. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is cute. Can I scroll? Yeah. Um, keep moving. Megan Fox. Damn, you know who's just always hot? <laughs> Megan Fox. And you know who's like not a bad actress? Megan Fox. Yeah. And you know who like, here's the other fucking thing. I think Megan Fox has been sick as shit for like a lot of Ever. years. And Hollywood kind of turned their back on her and called her hard to work with. But honestly, I think Hollywood's hard to work with and Megan Fox is the shit and you guys are dumb as fucking rocks. I agree. <laughs> I love Even nothing. when she's in small roles like the. She's this, good. Yeah. And this is 40. She's fucking funny. I love that she's. I mean, the world's talking about her again. Thank God. And she's like having this moment in the sun. A resurgence. And I think well-deserved. Like I, I want her professionally to resurge. Same. Is that a word? Well, I think this is the beginning. Of, I know it's not like acting, but she's really in the limelight. Like she's yeah. two seconds away from like having her whole 2022 booked with films. It fucking better be because honestly, I think she's incredibly talented and she's stunning. I couldn't agree more. I... I, I just like I am not wishing anyone better of an like I want her to be the Olivia Rodrigo of next year. <laughs> I want her to get Addison Rae's fucking Netflix deal. <laughs> like <laughs> call me crazy. Wow. Love her. Love her. Pete Davidson. Liver. Interesting. Let me see. Let me see. Very Pete he Davidson. So disappointed. I mean, yeah, I don't like it. It's like serving Chanel Grandma realness. It's like he's Anna Wintour. Yeah. It's like <laughs> it's serving like he's, Chanel Grandma realness. <laughs> it's like he's Ruth Bader Ginsburg and. <laughs> but like it's Pete Anna Davidson, Wintour. so like uh, good for him, you know. Good for him. <laughs> yeah. Like he's doing his thing. Like I I'm not mad about it. Like he's invited to the Met Gala. He's probably wearing something Ugh. super expensive. Don't get me. I'm throwing up in my fucking mouth with disgust and <laughs> hatred and loathing. Don't even say his name. I'm fucking disgusted. What? Move on. Move on no, from the fucking no, image. No. You know who it is. I don't hate it. You know exactly who it is. You I don't do hate, hate it. it. You hate it. Oh Arne hates my it. gosh. Lil Nas X. Damn, this bitch looks like a fucking queen. He wow. looks like a he looks like a queen mountain. Okay, let's get let's let Chris review it because that's he's I been love waiting him so his much. whole life. <gasps> I love see I love him so much. Everything he does. Doesn't he look like a queen mountain? Chris he's couldn't be a bigger crazy. fan. Like yeah, I love him. There's no bigger fan of Lil Nas X <laughs> than Chris. Yeah, Chris loves that guy. I, it's commanding the carpet for sure. It's like it's I mean, almost like he is a carpet. <laughs> Okay, so that's it for the Met Gala. We've, it is? Do we've done enough, but I'm not done with fashion <laughs> because Benefer. <gasps> yeah. They attended his movie premiere. Uh, who knows? And like, I've never seen a dress I like better on someone ever, except for Jennifer Lawrence at the Oscar in her red dress. Like that fit her like a glove. I don't even know what year it was, but mm -hmm. like, I'm still dreaming about it. Like mm -hmm. if I was straight. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yes. But this Jennifer Lopez dress. Show me. 
Show me, show me. It's like, I looked at this picture for five minutes because I was so appreciative of how it just worked with her body and the different cuts on it and the diamonds following her boob. Like, you're not as impressed as me. No, I mean, because I've seen the I've seen the picture before and I just forgot entirely what the dress looked like. It's gorgeous. And everybody's been posting these pictures like, get me a guy who looks at me the way that Jennifer is looked at by Ben. Sorry, I'm fading. <laughs> it's fucking five o'clock in the morning. Um, it's 10 p.m. <laughs> I'm old. We've established. And here's Shawn Mendes at the 11. VMAs doing the Aladdin thing. It, we've already discussed. No, this is a different. Yeah, Let's but it's see. not an Aladdin thing. Remember, we talked about it. It's it, not Aladdin. Uh, okay. It's Hammer Time. Okay. Well, I was also looking at VMA moments just because there were a lot. Mm-hmm. I, I, may, Show me some. Stop keeping secrets. Well, I don't know if they're done with fashion. If This is really not an audio episode. You've got to listen to it. Let's the, go into the hot toppies then. Okay. But my Megan dad, Fox looked really good. Oh, Megan Fox looks stunning. I at also, the VMAs. I also was watching some shit on Instagram yeah. and watched um, Conor McGregor like throw a drink at MGK. Guys, it's really big know. problem. What? I'm sorry. I have to cut. What? Why? His battery's about to die. Okay. I'm oh. so sorry. Okay, Christopher. Okay, everybody. So today's episode is supported by Talkspace, and the world is racing to get back to normal and start meeting up again. But after the year we've all had, uh, getting back to feeling normal takes time. That's especially true for me. I've been overstimulated right now, and going from zero to 100 has been too much, and I've Mm -hmm, been mm -hmm. on edge. Yeah. So I've had to uh, learn to cope with that a lot, and that has been through talk therapy. So if you're feeling overwhelmed by it all, you're not alone and it's important to find the support you need to face those feelings and move forward a lot of us turn to our friends when we're experiencing issues but they don't always have the best advice we need getting unbiased feedback and advice from a licensed professional can be refreshing and actually very rewarding it's just good to talk to somebody outside of your like friend circle that has like a like a larger perspective so that yeah. you can gain a pers- professional perspective mm-hmm. if you will mm-hmm. and if you're at a low point and you f- you're feeling alone you're not alone because over 50 percent of americans struggle with their mental help um with their mental health with their mental health uh, you can start messaging your therapist the same day you sign up which is amazing you'll set goals with your therapist and they'll make sure you're really uh, progressing talkspace therapists help you develop tools to cope in difficult times so talkspace is incredible because they work around your schedule at your convenience you can send and receive unlimited messages with your dedicated therapist in the app schedule live video sessions with your licensed therapist from anywhere and talkspace offers individual and couples therapy in addition to medication uh, prescription services. So whether you're uh, experiencing depression, anxiety, or other problems, Talkspace is the number one online therapy uh, platform to help you sort through any issue. Thousands of licensed therapists are available for you to match with. Talkspace therapists are experts in dozens of specialties, including anxiety, depression, relationships, and more to help you start feeling better. And I've been doing therapy for six or so months and honestly it's helped me drastically so start feeling better today with a single message match with a licensed therapist when you go to talkspace.com and get a hundred dollars off of your first month with promo code the sip that's a hundred dollars off when you use code the sip at talkspace.com um so that is very helpful that's pretty great life is never easy never never easy um okay lizzie yeah so you were talking about Machine Gun Kelly. Oh, so Conor McGregor on the red carpet at the VMAs was like, hey, can we get a picture? And I guess MGK was like, no. And then Conor McGregor was <laughs> like, well, fuck you then. <laughs> and I just saw a video on Instagram where a, a drink got fucking thrown. Megan's in the middle like, baby, like, no, like not here, not now. So. And that's the tea. And that's the tea. What I didn't realize was that Machine Gun Kelly works with Travis Barker. Like Travis Barker drums oh, yeah. for him. Uh-huh. So like Courtney Kardashian and Travis Barker show up at the VMAs. Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly show up at the VMAs. Right. They're looking stunning. Yes. Then the girlfriends present. Yes. The two of their boyfriends. Yeah. 
And you're the only one who didn't realize this, <laughs> by the way. Well, did you know? I just saw you acting like this is news is fucking hysterical. Well, I just saw it on Kim Kardashian's Instagram where Megan you heard Fox it here last, like, folks. She was like, yeah, like all like 250 million of Kim's Instagram followers saw Megan Fox say to our future baby daddies. Yeah. And I just melted a little bit. Oh, yeah. It's fucking crazy. And then they took a really funny picture, like in the men's urinals, the two girls standing at the urinals. Oh, so they're I they like hang those. out all the time. Courtney and Megan? Yes. Oh my gosh. Courtney's like becoming. <laughs> this is months old. Courtney's becoming the Kardashian between Addison no, Ray. No, remember, this and is Megan. Courtney's year. We were talking about it months ago, where how this is like Courtney's on the up swing. Up up. Yeah. Wow. Good for Courtney. Yeah. She I hope she's this. happy. She looks happy. Yeah. She looks happy and well lubricated. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. Okay. So I'm trying to think of Tell anything me, else. Oh, mm. speaking what? of Pete Davidson, did you? Okay, what? We like the flight attendant, Kaylee yeah. Cuoco. Oh. Our poor girl is going through a divorce. Yeah, which, uh, that's not like I didn't want to focus too much on that because yeah, like, that's not she an, that's none of our business though. That's none of our business. But then I saw that she's being photo. Well, she's posting photographs with Pete Davidson. They're in a movie together again. This is really old news. Okay, well then, did you see Octavia, Octavia Spencer comment on? No, but Octavia's been wild and on the internet lately. She, li- I think I screenshotted. I think it Octavia it was- also commented on Britney Spears' <laughs> engagement photo. Make him sign a prenup. Oh, okay, so that's actually okay. You're right. I thought this was okay. Oh, you mix your stories. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> he said, "Let's do two podcasts in a day." <laughs> well, you know, since I moved, like. <sighs> I'm getting like I used to love pop culture. Like I like I, I yeah. was really on the pulse, and, and now, now it's you're like, just I couldn't be making sure your sprinklers work. And you, <laughs> oh my god, did you not turn them off? No, I didn't go turn on the uh, other. Oh, you zone. didn't do on the ten, the ten panel yeah. or whatever. Uh, Station ten. I only put on zone. Oh seven my god, put on zone and ten. Zone ten needed to go live. Fuck, See, I don't what have, about the zone ten? When I'm not personally being invited to the Met Gala, I have no time to think about She's the people that are. When She's I have sprinkler mess. zones, I have sprinkler <laughs> zones that need to be tended to. You called if them stations earlier, and I kind of liked stations okay. better. I have stations that need to be tended to, and if I don't tend to them, the grass dies. If my the grass Dies, me and my dogs are nothing and then we're not at the met gala and we have dead grass colorado's really changed you <laughs> i know i don't even i haven't even been on the pulse of pop culture damn so this podcast so what you said about pete and kaylee had nothing to do with what you were talking about nope, nothing at all okay I, although i did see she had supposedly an ironclad prenup so that Brittany means not getting or kaylee cool and she's not t- speaking a peep about it other than clearing her social media of him. <sighs> Should we do one piece of advice before we go? Wait, we don't have any other. I thought we had more to report on. <laughs> well, we kind of. Jennifer Lawrence is also pregnant, which is a big fucking deal. Okay. Oh, she all is? the cool. Yeah. All the cool kids are pregnant right now, except for fucking us. Like we're fucking losers. I've got two pregnant best friends right now. What are we doing? Well, you're Nighttime capable. Podcast? You're capable. I'm not capable. It takes a lot more than a body to make a baby. Um, and then we also did already kind of hit on that. Well, mm. Brittany's engaged and free apparently. So that's see, I haven't been following her dad now. was like, yeah, I'm out. Yeah. Great. I mean, I'm yeah, saying like, girl. yeah, like uh, finally, like makes sense that it's like finally coming to fruition. And then as soon as that happens, she got engaged. Yeah. So hopefully, I mean, were they- and that was one of the things she talked about in her Not- court sa- in her court statement. She's like, I want to fucking marry my boyfriend and have his baby. Yeah, so it will be interesting. She will be pregnant with it. See, all the cool kids are getting pregnant right now. Yeah. Well, oh gotta- my God, I swear to God, the next thing we hear is Britney's pregnant. And, now, gotta- and what are we, just fucking losers? Yes, and I've got to calculate some things because I got to have- What are you like, calculating? What uh, astrological sign my baby's going to be. That's insane. Is no, this is pillow it- new? Yes. I love it. Good. It's very soft. Here's the other thing. <laughs> Here's the other thing. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. You're not planning your baby's astrological sign? I don't give a shit about this. Okay, well, you're screwed. <laughs> Am I? Good luck. Am I? Good luck to you. Am I? Okay, what else? Um, I did not add this one. Lana I Del- did, but I thought you would do the, the looking into it because I didn't. Or Chris, you know about Lana. Del Rey. Are you, aren't you a Lana person? I mean, I, I like her music. I don't know much about her oh. outside of that. Apparently well, she quit social go- media, but it, there was like a lot of drama involved and I, I didn't take the time to look into it. So I don't feel That's interesting. Qualified. There's been a lot of TikTok rumors lately around Lana Del Rey 
and some past relationships. Well, that's of what it's hers. saying. Like yeah. she deleted social media after controversial past, but then like I didn't really want to. F- I don't like. I don't know how much. Like I don't know anything about her. Right. So, not that I don't want to feed. I just into know that it. I like her. I just. All right. I like her vibe. I like her music. So there's that and that. That covers all of our hot toppies. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> yeah. So I thought we could do. Let's just do one of the advice questions. Okay. So let's get into advice, advice though. though. I almost fucked that up. Do you want to do it again? Uh, no. Because I was going to say hot topics though. <laughs> oh no. Oh wait. I just realized there's a store called Hot Topic. Yeah, there is. Did we know that every time we were saying Hot Topics? Well, no. Well, I just put it. What is going on here? <laughs> this is this should not be how you do it. <laughs> okay, so anonymous. I'm feeling gassy. Should we save advice for the next week? No, we have to now. Okay, so she said, I'm not really good with expressing my emo- emotions or knowing how to cope with anxiety. So I want to know what you guys do to help because I have a really bad habit. Something I'm not going to say, but I tend to do it to relieve and alleviate this anxiety and want to try to get away with it, but I can't. So Lizzie, I want to know how you felt with sobriety and how you got to the point where you are today because I've tried and tried, but nothing really works for me. So a little bit of background is that she's uh choosing her her college she's testing for colleges and she wants to know like how to cope with anxiety outside of seemingly uh alcohol or third party um mind alterations interesting um i think i I don't know how to explain it but it's like well, while you're thinking, I'll say I was talking to my therapist this week and I don't know if this, well, I guess it applies to everyone. We were talking about it and she was saying outside of medication, the three most proven uh, things that are effective to help anxiety and depression are working out, meditation, and talk therapy. So yeah. the three of those things will help you more. Did in you the say long- medication or meditation? Meditation. Yeah. Outside of medication, mm-hmm. talk therapy working out and meditation yeah and so those things will also help you in the long run like if you instead of going for a glass of wine go on a walk or meditate or work out like even today before you guys were coming Mm -hmm. i was feeling really like just anxious because we had two episodes i didn't know if we had enough content for both of them and i like did a 30 minute workout and like i it really did like relieve Mm -hmm. like i like let go of so much of like my like anxiousness right for me like the reason why I kind of stalled out at the top is because for me there's a difference between um like I think that there's like kinds of anxiety so like I for sure have an anxiety disorder and then I can also have environmentally induced anxiety you know phases so for my uh, anxiety disorder I noticed that I was using drugs and alcohol to numb the feelings right and the depression and the pain so and not only that but i was you know biologically predestined to have a problem with substance abuse right um because what i believe is it's you know i believe that it can be genetic i don't think that it always is i think that each case is different but i think for me this is something that's genetic and um you know environmentally induced by an anxiety disorder and the only thing that helped me with substance abuse was Um, acknowledging that I have a problem that I have no control over, acknowledging that I can only change the things in my control, which means myself. I cannot change people, places, or things. Mm -hmm. And um, acceptance of those things, like hand in hand with prayer and meditation and community service, really help me with my anxiety disorder. And um, that alleviates my compulsion to pick up alcohol and drugs so once you said goodbye to alcohol those are the tools you used to replace when you were feeling yeah so like now when i'm feeling anxious it's like okay let's let's think about why i'm feeling anxious like is it a specific instance is there something happening in my immediate timeline that i have participated in that's causing me anxiety did i lie was i mean was i impatient was i trying to change somebody or something that i cannot change and then it's like oh okay if it's any one of those things like let's think about why i did that and then let's also find a way to not have to do that again and more often than not if i just start my day 
by like manifesting different behaviors, I feel better. So it's like, I'll go to this thing called the prayer of St. Francis. And it's Mm -hmm. like, instead of being dark, I'm going to be light. Instead of being mean, I'm going to be kind. Instead of being hurtful, I'm going to be loving. Where there is doubt, I'm going to bring faith. Like those things, like Mm -hmm. saying the positive opposite of what my knee jerk reaction to be is. It's like, it's like when a when a bodybuilder goes to the gym and they start off like me, like no muscle, but they go to the gym every single day and they get, you know, built. Right. So when I do these things every single day, I get built up in a way that I can defend myself from my anxiety without needing to pick up drugs and alcohol. Right. And what you said throughout that was also just like, oh, duh, that makes so much sense is like an alcohol is like your bypassing emotions yeah you're like ignoring burying and moving forward but you're not addressing the trauma where like the healthy thing is to be like why am i feeling these emotions what's the root of the yeah. anxiety and if you uncover that immediately you'll start to like stop doing those behaviors that stop making you anxious instead of burying them exactly as well and then for my my other version of anxiety which i think is just you know i don't think it has anything to do necessarily with my alcoholism or my addiction problems but I do have other just like run-of-the-mill anxiety like oh did I work hard enough today or did I you know do everything that I could professionally for myself today or like whatever like did I go grocery shopping did I eat the right foods and so it's like when I say the right foods I mean did I eat foods that make my body feel good or did I eat foods that I know make me feel sick but brought me instant gratification so that I wouldn't be so I would be distracted for a moment from something that makes me feel bad wow and then So like I even I work that into my routine. So like part of the new thing I'm doing is I only work on weekdays and I take weekends off and I'm actually a lot more productive. I eat breakfast first thing in the morning and it's something that I know that doesn't make me sick. And it's like, you know, I'll you I'll fall off the wagon and have like a sugary cereal for breakfast. And I think that it makes me happy, but it doesn't because like 10 minutes later I feel sick and I'm on the couch and I can't be productive. So I'll have a healthy breakfast I'll go I'll work out so I'll either do you know like a cardio exercise for 40 minutes or I'll go for a hike and then I come home and I work until 5 p.m. and then I do another workout because I've noticed that I have a crazy brain so it's like if if I, I can't focus yeah and I can't turn my work off and I used to burn out because I would work every single day all day into the night and I used to keep my room at a specific lighting where I couldn't tell what time of day it was so that I could focus longer. Oh, no. But when you do that, your your productivity actually goes down. And when your productivity is down, your anxiety goes up. Yeah. So taking time off has made me more productive and has alleviated my anxiety. And then having that, the bookends of I work out to start my day and I work out to end my professional day before I make dinner. And have an evening where I'm not on the clock. And that's what we talk about this in next week's episode for me. But it is very much so like I don't do well under deadlines or stress because I know that I'm best when like I wake up, I work out. I have these really hours that I'm energized. And then like if I don't work out in the morning, I start to like have more negative thoughts towards the afternoon. Whereas Mm -hmm. if I work out, I don't really feel those thoughts creep in as much. Mm -hmm. So it's like I feel like actively choosing to like be healthier is a lot of work but it like equates in more happiness and so and here's the funny thing because it's like when I think about everything that I do for my alcoholism every day it's like man that's a lot of work but it's really not because I think about when I was using and the amount of effort as a woman with no job that I had to put into finding the cash and the wherewithal to get drugs and alcohol that's a lot of fucking work right And it's physically exhausting because you're hungover, depleted, depressed, and yeah, deteriorating, literally shitting and vomiting at the same time. I can think of nothing more exhausting than that. (laughs) So when I just do these simple things, I actually have more energy and I feel better than I ever felt like on my best day on drugs. You know what I mean? Even my worst day sober is better than my best day high. Wow. But I'll, again, like I definitely think that there are differences between like like there's levels of substance abuse and there are alcoholics and then there are people who drink too much. You know what I mean? Right. And like, but I'm and I'm not a doctor. I can't diagnose anyone, but I can say that without a shadow of a doubt, if you have a thought in your head like, "Wow, I should do this other behavior because it sounds 
like it would make me less anxious. And I know that this is annoying to hear. Just fucking do it. Yeah. Because I can't focus for shit. No. But I'll put on deep concentration music. Sorry, I'm sweating. No, you're good. You're wearing a fucking sweatsuit. <laughs> Um, I'll put on concentration music and I'll put my noise canceling headphones on and I will just sit with my phone on do not disturb so that I can't hear you when you message me and I will work and I'll set a timer on my phone too because that helps my ADHD relax. I'm like, I will check my phone in three hours. Nobody needs me within a three hour span. No, I can't do anything. If your house is on fire, you shouldn't be calling me. So there's no emergency I should be answering for. You know what I'm saying? Right. So yeah, phone on, do not disturb. Phones are a huge source of anxiety, I think, for everyone. Being readily reachable at every hour of the day is fucking insane. Choosing a time to shut down. And I also feel better if I read at night instead of scroll scroll through my phone. Yeah. So I can watch a movie with my family and then I'll read. I hate to cut you off, but I'm dying. Like, I'm sweating. Here you go again. We'll talk about this next week when Ryland interrupts important conversations with petty bullshit. Well, we've also been going for like an hour and 20 minutes. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) And that's the (laughs) sip. Sorry, did I hurt your feelings? No, but I do want to watch all of Room. Okay. And I can't even remember what it's called now. I'm just like profusely sweating. In this so can thing. I have that sweatsuit if it's so I awful for you? You Thank run you guys hot. so much for watching today's episode of The Sip. We have a fun episode in store for you next week as well. Uh, we love you very much. Uh, follow us on social media. All the good stuff. Uh, we love you. Goodbye. And, and that, that's The, the Sip. sip. <sighs> and check yourself before you wreck yourself, girl. You deserve to be happy, healthy, and free. Oh, don't cut, Chris. Don't cut, Chris. Don't cut, Chris.